Okay, folks, uh, we have successful connection here, and we have 24 satellites, and we've already checked our airspace. We're in Class G airspace, and we have no temporary flight restrictions of any kind right now. And the uh, I'll get you a, um, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? The Not before you fly, but the one that measures the wind, that up. I'll get you a screenshot so you know what kind of wind we're dealing with here. Wind's not, it's windy, but it's not bad. So here we go. We're, we're getting low on light here, so we're going to, Get this right up in the air here. Okay, it turns off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, you know, every time. So it supposedly has a better image transmission. So there I am, you know, right here, your uh, trusty drone guy here. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, this is going to be my uh, B-roll uh, and my A-roll camera today. So let's raise it up a little bit here. So you can see I'm, I'm down here on the street here in beautiful Margate City, New Jersey. Uh, we're going to test out the new firmware uh, on the uh, on the Mavic. Uh, I mean the Mavic. The Mini 3 Pro uh, has got some big firmware updates. We're going to put the number down here. Uh, the big news was that uh, all the firmware update last week uh, allowed the Air 2S to work with the uh, DJI RC uh you know, control here with the screen. But for the Mini 3, also got some uh, nice updates. So we're gonna go through them right now. So um, let's get started here. I'm gonna kind of do a up and out of here, Marcus Crawford style. All right, so now we're over the beach here. You don't need to see me anymore. So let's, uh, let's look towards the ocean here. Typical, uh, you know, view there. So let's start our recording on the screen here. Now, a couple things that got here. Um, Number one was you could do uh, the master shots now in vertical mode. You know the Mini 3 Pro was the uh, like the you know the first uh, one of the first drones to get a special uh, Instagram vertical TikTok type of uh, you know mode there. So uh, you know you could do that now. So we're going to test that, and also uh, it got a feature where you can um, it has a uh, what do you call it a, a you know a priority mode where you can either uh, you can go into pro mode. And you can either set the shutter or the uh, or the uh, ISO and, and lock them. And I'm going to show you here. It's easier to show you than tell you. It's it's something that's been on cameras for years and years. And the last thing was uh, you can increase your sharpening and your noise reduction. Well, you could decrease, increase them either way. So um, let's show you. Uh, let's show you that first. Here's a boy. Here's a nice looking picture here. So um, let's take a picture. Let's go back here to the photos and. Uh, you know, let's go up just a little bit more, get a little bit more of a rise here. Okay, I like that. Not every drone shot has to be from, you know, um, uh, you know, 200 miles high or whatever. So let's go to the photo. And let's go to our auto, uh, auto exposure brackets here. So we get, make sure we have real good exposure. And uh, I like that centered up just, just like that. So, okay, let's hit. Okay, you might not be hearing the shutter sounds because I have a, a wire, the DJ wireless mic plugged in here to do this screen recording here. So let's also take a 48 megapixel photo and see how that looks good with all that extra detail. Okay. All right, well, let's get on to what I was talking about before. Okay, let's go back to this, I guess, single photo here. I don't know. Uh, let's, before we run out of light here, okay, let's go into our um, camera settings. And uh, go down the camera, and round about here, uh, see where it says style. It's right under white balance. That wasn't there before, and it gives you the two icons over there. You know, one's for the sharpness, and one's for the noise reduction. Uh, so um, I just took those photos. Now, if I was to take those photos in raw mode, uh, the sharpness and noise reduction wouldn't have any effect really. But if you leave them in JPEG, they do. So let's uh, let's bump that sharpness up a little bit. Let's bump up the one. And uh, that's what's bump it all the way up to two. And noise reduction, uh, what's, uh, you know, let's bump it up. Uh, you can only bump it up. Uh, it's, on, it's on zero. You can take, you can do no noise. So let's, uh, let's take the noise reduction down. How's that sound? So now we got that set. So let's go back to where we were before with the photos. And let's just, uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that yet. We'll get to that in a second, folks. 
Uh, we're going to just take a single photo here so we can see the effects here. Now, I do have it in. Just going to take a JPEG here. And I got everything in auto. So let's, uh, let's take our photo. Enhancing image quality. That tells me that it's doing the, uh, you know, I guess the extra sharpening and less noise reduction. So uh, noise reduction sometimes you take a little quality away while it's trying to you know to cut down and you want to use noise reduction in kind of a low light situation kind of what I'm in now but uh, you probably should, I probably should have pumped up the other way but okay we've tested that in photo now now let's show you one of the other features uh, over here let's go to video now and you could do that in uh, you could do that sharpening and stuff in the video too I'm actually to see if that holds let's go back and see if it holds it in video or you have to go change it again. Uh, camera sharpness. Uh, yeah, it, it, it wiped it out, so you have to, you know, uh, do it again here. So let's uh, let's do it all. Let's do it all the way up, and uh, let's, uh, you know, let's do more noise reduction too. How's that? Let's let's put everything on max here. And uh, okay, now what I was telling you before. Say you go into your pro modes here. Okay, we're in pro mode now. Uh, I'm gonna get my. That's show my screen recording to ignore that. That's I don't have to do with anything here. Let's go in here. And uh, let's go over to um, more normal 264. We're kind of on, on basic stuff here. Um, let's go over to um, you know this mode here, the the, the shutter mode we'll call it. And uh, say I want to maintain my shutter speed. I got a 4K 30. So let's say I want to maintain. Uh, you know I want to keep it at uh, what do you call it? Uh, you know the, the roll the roll of something or another. And I want to keep it. Uh, Okay, so um, when you're in the new, uh, you can either go shutter or ISO priority. So um, let's put that on auto here. So, and then let's put this on auto. But what we could do is we could keep uh, we can keep the shutter locked in, so we could take that off here, and then the shutter will stay stay what it is or fly along, and the, only the ISO would change. See how the ISO is changing odd uh, formats there. So let's let's start recording video here. I guess we can't. Uh, sorry, I guess you you gotta you gotta you know you can't be recording and see it. Or can you? Yeah, you can. Okay. So let's uh, let's fly along here. Get up a little bit higher here. All right. Now, nothing changes because I'm flying the same direction. But say I turn towards the sun. Now, see the auto the the uh, the ISO has changed automatically. Went down to 100, but my shutter is staying at uh, at, at one one over three twentieths here, which I don't have any ND filters or anything on. You, you, I'd have to you know. Put an ND filter in there to, to get that shutter at the at the roll, the, whatever the rule is, double double in the, um, you know what what I said is the frame rate. But uh, so you can see how that changes. You know, let's bring it back here again, and I'll go up here because it needs to gather more light in this direction. Like say we let's let's get this down to 240, uh, and then see that went down to 100 because uh, you know it needs to be leave more light in. Okay, so what's how about that there? So, um, okay, we can get rid of that now. Go away. And then we'll get our, um, so let's go a little bit higher here. Remember, we're, we're, we're more we're sharper now, too. We're the sharper image here. Remember those guys? All right, so let's go out here. See, we can see it the pier. See if this video looks any sharper. We see any, any less noise in the video. Alrighty, so we're doing good. We got 78 in the battery here. The old fishing pier there. Okay, so we'll see how that looks. See how this shot looks here. Got that all that extra sharpening here, and we got our shutter there. Let's show you something here. Okay, now I'm back over. Let's go back into the settings again. The pro settings. There we go. And what's uh, oops, sorry. Let's go back in here again, and let's get rid of that auto ISO or you know what? Actually, let's get everything on Doctor Auto here and see what happens. See if it looks any better. Think it looks better on the on Doctor Auto there. Alrighty, let's try something else here. Let's try let's try the third uh you know, the third tier here of um 
these new changes here. So let's, um, let's switch over to master shots. Well, actually, let's switch, let's do the vertical mode here first. Oops, oh, what happened there? Sorry, Ron hitting too many buttons here at the same time. Okay, Road, oh, vertical mode, okay. So now let's go to the master shots. Okay, I hate when that thing pops up all the time. Uh, let's get a little bit closer here. Make sure we're, we're high, elevated, kind of high here because it may do some, you know, some loopy things here. I'm going to swing it around here so I catch some of these clouds out here. Okay, let's, let's draw our box. Let's go a little bit closer. Okay, now let's, let's draw that little box over it. Oops. I can't, I can't find it. I'm not close enough. I think it's got it. Okay, now here's one thing it always does to you here. If you don't change the resolution, always do it in 1080p. So let's go right down here and do it in 4K. You can only do 30 frames per second. So Okay, go away. Okay, estimated flight time, two minutes here. So we want to go, uh, let's go medium length. And uh, the highest medium, every, everything's medium. That, that's fine. I don't, you know, let's hit, just hit start and get over, get 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 rocking here. And then the green box is exactly over the end of the pier now, so it's 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 used the water now. So I just wasn't close enough to the pier. That, that's that's my fault. But it it's using the water as its home point, so that's fine. It's right by the pier. It's. You know, whether it uses the water or the pier, it's close enough. We're going to get the shots we want here. So this is an auto mode. It's going to do about maybe, I don't know, half a dozen different, um, you know, modes here. So um, on its own, circle far now, you know, and then it'll stitch them together at the end here and make a little video here. Perfect for your TikTok, TikTok and Instagram feed. Oops. And we got a down, down shot of the beach there. Beaches deserted today. It's uh, it's a it's a nice day down here at the shore, but it's chilly. It's too you know, it's too cold to sit in the beach anymore. Uh, well, actually, yesterday probably was, but it's pr most likely we're we're done with sitting in the beach. So you still got your dog walkers and your surfers around, but uh, you know the beach is kind of deserted this time of year. So here we do a circle close. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, I can't wait to get this baby up on Instagram. I need to get my numbers up over there. So, anyhow, these features are really some, you know, again, they they keep improving this darn drone here, uh, the Mini 3 Pro. It came out, you know, had a few um, few bumps in the road when it first came out, you know, but uh, now I'm do, going to do the rocket. But now they've really refined this thing to where it's, um, you know, one of the best buys out there, really, you know, unless you really need, um, you know, um, Something like the Mavic 3 or, or even better for, um, you know, some pro jobs or things like that. This is going to take care of most of, uh, you know, most of your needs. I, I should have got that more over the pier than I did. That, that's, you know, it's my fault here. Uh, all user error, you know, I'm still getting some cool shots. So, you know, but I wish I had a it better. But every time I do one of these master shots, I always wish I had did something different. But, you know, hey, it is what it is, right? You know, so... Still getting good footage, and this drone is performing well. I got the extended life battery in, so I still got 65 minutes. Usually, okay, here's the master shot complete. Aircraft is uh, doing something. I think, it, I think it comes back to you. No, it stopped. It comes back to the point where uh, it, it, you, you started the master shot from. So if you started the master shot right over your head, it'd come right back to you. So, Okay, returning, you see that on the right-hand side, that red X underneath where the words returning. Okay, it is done. And sometimes it, it pops up a little thing, you know, like an instant movie and you know, puts music and stuff to it, but not in this case here. So um, that is interesting. So uh, let's, uh, let's actually get over this thing here while we're still in vertical mode here and maybe get a nice vertical shot of... Uh, the pier and then the shoreline all the way down to Atlantic City. And Marcus, my friend Marcus Crawford is having a lot of issues with the focusing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out of here, get back into photo mode, and uh, we're going to get back into brackets. Too. No, we're just going to go 48 megapixel actually. And we're going to try a couple different tap the focus scenarios here. So one, uh, one is I'm going to 
tap on the uh, on the pier, end of the pier, fishing pier, and I'm going to use that as a focus point, and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, and then I'm going to tap to infinity up here on, on the casinos and take our, uh, you know, things again. Okay. So there we go. We, we, we did a couple of, uh, and you know, we hadn't, ma what if we manual focused it or whatever? Eh, we don't want to, we don't want to get into manual focus today. We'll just keep them all focused. But, you know, I tapped a couple points there. So let's see uh, how they turned out. You know what? I like this shot too here with the, with the vertical from out here with the, the pier and the vertical. Yeah, I, I, I love this shot. Look at this. I'd like that little, a little bit more of an angle there. You know, I'd like that. Let's uh, do that. Let's, let's tap to focus infinity. I'm going to see if we tap the pier, whether we get some motion blur. I mean, uh, not motion blur, but, but cinematic blur in the background. So, okay. I even like this shot as a, um, as a, as a video, too. So let's go more of a down shot. And let's uh, go back to video here. Shoot a little video here like this. I'm going to put it in cine mode and kind of do a slow, slow you all around. I like that. Okay, let's stop that. That's good. Okay, what's now? Let's look at over here at the sunset. See, see if we get anything good in the sunset. Not really. We don't have any clouds in the sky. We'll frame it up like that. See how that goes. And I think I want to uh, go back, take another photo. And uh, we're still in our vertical mode. We're still in our verticals, and we're going to tap the focus again. And we're going to grab a. We're going to have some brackets this time. There we go. So what's uh, now let's go to some vertical video again. On this one, maybe I do want to play with that. Um, here again uh let's see here i want to get this sh let's get the shutter down yeah i need an nd filter on here so um i want to keep it like that and we're video recording now i believe Move along, probably flying into a headwind here. Oh, oh I got a cin cinematic mode, sorry. That's good. I wonder why she's going this lot. Oh man, I'm fighting a big wind there. All right, so that's a little bit of vertical video shot there for you. Uh, let's get out of vertical video now and get back into our um, our regular video. Oh, look at that, I like that. All righty. So let's see what we're doing there. Let's get some more. We don't. Not getting our, our big motion blur here, but I like that shot. If we had just had some clouds in that sky there, we'd be perfect. There's your your sun your sun dot there, you know, your lens flare that everybody says, What's that? What's that little dot? That's your lens flare. You anytime you fly in the sun, you're gonna get that on, on most of the time, most cameras. You know, even even some expensive glass, you're going to get that. So, okay, I like that clip there. So let's get a let's get a photo like that too. And the photo always changes the you know the focal uh, thing there. So okay, let's uh, let's get that. I like that setup there. Let's uh, 
Let's get that there. Now, let's see if we're, we're our, it turned our histogram off here. Let's see if I can go and get my histogram real fast and get a better shot. Camera, histogram, uh, and back to the thing here. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Where's my histogram? What's let me. Yeah, oh, I like that. Uh, let's see, just a little bit. Uh, see how my histogram, I don't have, I might have clipping on the uh, right-hand side there. I mean, I could probably, let's go just a little bit up a little bit. Maybe you got, got just a little bit of clipping now. Okay, let's do that and then hit the RO exposure brackets. I'm watching our time here. We still got 49 minutes. This thing's a beast here, um, you know, with the battery. So, okay, I think we got it. We got like that shot there a lot. So, let's, uh, you know, we're really cooking here. We got our histogram working for us now. And, uh, you know, there's the pier way down there. So, here's a case where, um, you know, you, okay, we're running low light here. So, this is a case where let's go back here. This could be a good scenario for when we do need, um, that style we do need the extra okay it got turned off again this gets turned off constantly so what's we do need no or extra noise reduction here and i guess i guess putting it up means you're getting more noise reduction and when you're moving it down you're getting less oops sorry i uh go fly i i that's completely my fault i tapped um what was i saying there uh i guess when you're uh moving the um style when you're moving the noise reduction down it's that's less noise reduction so let's put more noise reduction up and let's get the sharpening up just one this time see if we get more of an all tell uh you know nano type look here with the uh, digital sharpening okay so let me go back into uh my um pro settings here and what i want to do now is uh maybe okay bump that bump that up a little bit and that's too bright let's go down to 180th there we go. I like I like that. That's that's good. And uh and let's fly right that direction. Oh, I'm on I always forget the that's a good photo, but I I'm I'm interested in doing video here. So I'll probably have to reset everything over again. It's a good test though. Let's go see if we have to uh change that sharpening again. Where was it? Where where is it here? Okay, no, it cap it. Okay, it cap it. Good, good, okay. So we're in uh we're in video mode now. And uh, let's see if it kept my um, settings over here. Uh, oh, boy, look at auto. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's change that shutter. Let's get that off auto. Okay, there we go. That's plenty of bright. Let's go. Nice. Okay, I like that. Uh, Maybe it's a little too dark. Who knows? Let's fly down and see how it looks with the extra sharpening. I probably should have, you know, went the shutter one more time. And let's see here. I'm 23. I'm probably in a little wind out there. Okay, so what's we? Okay, we may. Let's stop this and let's change that shutter. Man, I think I probably should have had that shutter uh, down to one one twentieth. Okay, see if you like that better. Stop, start the video. I'm anxious to see if the, you can see this extra sharpening, you know, on your screens. Alrighty, well, we got some good test stuff here. Now let's uh, let's stop that. Got some weird clouds up there. Hard to get hard to get shots of those. Really, let's see anything. You always want to check to see what's going on behind you. Anything interesting behind you? The sun, the sun sets, oh, well, it could be better now. I'm all, my, let's go back to auto settings. There you go. Get it closer to what it should be. The sun's kind of broken the horizon there. There's some more clouds out there. Let's see if we get a shot like this where we get, a you know, some clouds over there. I'm going to tap the focus on that building. And let's, now, I think also in the notes it said that it added ability uh, to add wide-angle lens here, and I believe. DJI put a wide-angle lens out for the, this drone back in the summer, but I, maybe this will open up for you know third-party third-party makers such as um, Freewell 
uh, Yolanzi, people like that to make, uh, you know, uh, uh, third party uh, uh, wide lens adapt, uh, wide angle lens adapters. So, you know, we'll see. All right. I like that shot. Okay. I think we're about done here. Let's go back to photo. Is there not one more photo opportunity here? Maybe. So uh, let's just do a JPEGer here. Or yeah, so it's a modern tool JPEG for some reason. Wonder if I was taking all I was taking no RAWs today. So uh, yeah, because RAWs aren't going to be affected by the sharpening anyway. So it's just one more. Okay, let's bring this let's bring this drone home. How high are we here? Let's go a little bit higher. Of course, uh I don't want let's just do the return home thing here. I haven't done that in a while. So let's let's shoot video just in case we want to record a little video on the way back. All right. Well, I don't take advantage of, you know, I can get all these clouds by doing that has that uh, angle up here. So let's get some of these clouds here, see how that turns out with angling the thing up more than, uh, you know, most other drones can do. I forget that pitch on that thing. I'll show you, you know, how you can really uh, create that up. Okay, so here's a situation where we're taking the JPEG where we may have a lot of noise. So let's go back in here and make sure those noise settings are still in place. Okay, so I think we have an extreme noise and we probably don't need the extra sharpening here. So let's go down here. Less sharpening means, you know, less noise. All right, let's, let's try that. They're still taking our brackets. I like that. Look, uh, all the clouds. I got the pier in there. Again, brackets. All right, so we got to try a lot of stuff out here today. I wonder if I can get that moon, moon over there. There's a moon. The moon's coming out over here. Oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, I lo really like that shot. I got the moon over here. It doesn't matter whether I can get it on, whether it'll show up here. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. See it up there? Little white, the uh, the white dot is zoomed in as much as I can here. Maybe this will help reduce the noise. All right, uh, that concludes this video test of the um, the Mini Three Pro uh, on the new firmware. We'll have all the numbers below. Um, I think I, you know, tried out all the new features that uh, the software brought to the Mini 3 side of it, and we're gonna have a separate video on the Air 2S with the compatibility with the, um, the this RC this RC controller, and also it adds uh, uh, Expo to the uh, City mode in that drone, which I didn't know wasn't there before. But uh, if you like this video, give me the old thumbs up. If you um, aren't already subscribed, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell notification so you'll know when I uh, publish new videos. Also a thanks button on there where you can send your creator a couple shekels, you know, buy a cup of coffee or whatever, you know, help uh, put some uh, money into coins so we can get more stuff to, in here to, uh, you know, review on the channel here and, and make some more videos. So uh, thank you folks and uh, maybe we'll end this with a little uh, manual droney up and out of here. Marcus Crawford style. Bye.